Hi everybody, welcome back to Fiona's Food and I am in India. In January, I travelled to India to visit family, see some sights, but mainly to learn as much as I could about Indian food. Over the next few videos, I'm going to be sharing with you everything I learned, some cool stuff I saw, and of course, some amazing recipes. This is Fiona's Food in India. Hi everybody, welcome back to Fiona's Food and this is episode 2 of my India series. So this episode is all about fish and there is lots of footage of fish, dead and alive. So if you don't like fish, and I know a lot of people don't, then this video probably isn't for you and instead you can click over here and you can watch a video of me making some cookies. But if you do like fish and you'd like to learn a traditional Bengali fish recipe, then keep watching. Fish is an integral part of Bengali and Indian cooking. Bengali people eat fish basically every single day and obviously fish is really good for you and it tastes really good if you cook it properly so you can understand why they eat so much fish. So when I was in India I got to go to a fish market with some of my family which was amazing. I got to see loads of fish that I definitely would not have been able to see over here and I also got to see some of the cultural significance of fish as well. So they had fish that were decorated for weddings and it was just incredible to see all this stuff. It also smelled really bad and I got fish juice all over my shoes. So it was a great day all around. fish being caught which we later got to eat. So some of my family live out in a tiny little village out in the middle of nowhere and they have their own pond where they catch fish which they live off of themselves. So while we were there we got to see the catching of the fish. So what they do is they get guys from the village to come down, literally get into the pond with the fish and essentially drain the pond using a net and catch as much of the fish as they can. It was really, really cool to see. I think they were mainly doing it for the benefit of me and my sister so we could see it and video it, but it was so cool. The guys who were doing the catching were actually a little bit confused as to what was happening, like why we were telling them to catch a fish and then put them back in the water. But they were fine, they were good sports, and they let me take loads of pictures and videos, and here they are posing with the fish. So like I said, most of the fish were thrown back into the pond, but we did keep a few, which my auntie straight away started preparing. The fish were literally five minutes out of the water at this point, 
and then we took them home and we had them fried and it was just the most delicious thing ever. So this isn't quite fish related but while we were there, as well as catching their own fish, the, my family who live in that village also have coconut trees and as well as catching fish, they get guys from the village to climb the trees and basically pick coconuts off the top of these trees and it's amazing and terrifying at the same time. So me and my sister and my cousins were standing at the bottom of this tree watching this guy drop these coconuts and we were kind of terrified we were going to hit my head and also I was really scared that like, I was going to fall. It's, coconut trees are really tall. Thank you for watching everyone. I hope you like my new end slate and my new branding that I've got on my channel. If you like this video then please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see the first video from my India series then you can click on the link over here or you can click over here to watch my last video. If you haven't subscribed to Food already then please do and I will see you all very soon.